Hi, I'm Lisa Campion, and I'm the author of The Art of Psychic Reiki. And I wanted to just uh, jump in here for a minute and answer your question, what is Psychic Reiki? So in this video, we're going to talk about what Reiki is, what Psychic Reiki is, and how studying Reiki can really, really help you increase and open your psychic ability if that's something that you're interested in doing. So let's start with what is Reiki. So Reiki is one of the simplest and most intuitive, gentle, hands-on energy healing techniques there are. It's very powerful and it's from Japan. So it's something that anyone can learn how to do. Um, and it's been around for a while. You've probably heard of Reiki. And what happens with Reiki is the practitioner learns how to connect with a very specific frequency of energy. That energy is the energy of unconditional love. And then we learn how to channel that energy through our hands. So when you touch people, your hands get really warm and you're um, transmitting not your own energy, but this frequency of energy, this Reiki energy that's unconditional love to you, the, um, the person you're working on. And I've been teaching Reiki for over 25 years. I've trained thousands of people in Reiki and done over 15,000 individual sessions during that time. And I can tell you that Reiki is so simple. I've never met anyone I couldn't teach. So it's very accessible to everyone. We can learn it in just a few hours. And then you have the ability to heal um, yourself, your friends, your family, your pets, um, right in the palms of your own hands. So it's an incredible, um, incredible thing to learn. Really, really good for self-healing. And Reiki 1, so there's three levels to Reiki. And Reiki 1 really focuses on self-healing, which I think is an incredibly beautiful thing. And surprisingly, there are not very many healing modalities that have self-healing as the foundation of their practice. So Reiki is just gorgeous. And what we, what Psychic Reiki is, is that we add in training to help you open your intuition and your psychic ability. So a lot of times what happens is learning Reiki helps us open our latent sensitivity and psychic abilities. So if you're naturally intuitive, empathic, sensitive, you become more so as you go through the levels of Reiki training. And many people have experienced that and then have felt lost, scared, or even confused by what's going on. And sadly, they may even end up stopping practicing Reiki because they're a little too freaked out by the fact that their psychic experiences are, are strong now. And I feel really sad about that. That's why I wrote this book. Um, because I felt really sad and one day I was teaching Reiki and this really incredibly gifted healer came up to me and she said, um, you know, I, I've been doing Reiki for a while. In fact, I work in a hospice and I do Reiki in hospitals and hospice to help people that are transitioning. And, um, and I stopped doing it because when I got my last Reiki attunement, all of a sudden I was ex having these experiences. I was you know, feeling like there was a, somebody standing in my room at night. I started seeing colors around people. I started to know things that there really wasn't any way I could know. And she, and she told me it freaked her out and she just backed away. And in that, in that case, she had asked her Reiki teacher um, what to do about it. And her Reiki teacher was like, I don't, I don't know. Like that's scared, scary and weird. Quit, whatever it is you're doing, stop, stop doing it. That's why I don't want to talk about that. And I felt um, sad about that. And that's really actually, that was the impetus for me writing that book because really this woman who's an incredibly gifted healer, she's still working and she's changing the world for many people. What she needed was training. She needed help learning to help understand what was going on for her. Um, and actually having our intuition and our psychic um, abilities open can be an incredibly powerful benefit for if we're, especially if we're practicing Reiki on people. It's a beautiful tool to add to our toolkit. Um, and I think it's something that should be celebrated, used to like, I don't know if God gives us gifts we're not supposed to use, really that's, so, but we need help because it can be overwhelming and scary if we don't know what it's all about. So that's why, um, that's why I wrote the book and Psychic Reiki, uh, Psychic Reiki really weaves together this tra traditional Reiki training and psychic development, which really became the perfect solution to that dilemma. And I think it's a good thing for people who are studying Reiki to expand into their intuitive and psychic development. So that is something that they can add to their toolkit. So um, I also think that Reiki can really, is such a profound spiritual um, 
opening for many people. It can launch us into a very deep spiritual and personal journey. And part of that is sort of opening to our gifts. So if that feels like something you want to do, then I think you should check it out. And I think the first step to that is really accepting that you're, you might be having experiences that you didn't have before and acknowledging that and accepting that. It's really easy to be afraid of it. Um, but I think if we can accept that, then um, then we really end up opening to more of our psychic ability. So that's what psychic Reiki really is. Uh, I hope that that helps you understand it.